morning everybody this 88 uh, XJ has not had the cooling system taken care of uh, for at least the last year that I know of so this was a little hard I couldn't find anybody on YouTube that had uh, done a system flush on it for the cooling system so I came up with one and it works so you get yourself a 5 8 you know, this is made by Prestone, you get yourself a 5 8 T cut the line, insert it and then you do the same thing on the other line <clears throat> so what happens is the fresh water comes in here pressurizes it and goes both ways this way is toward the heater valve and the heater core now the heater valve <clears throat> right here has a vacuum line on it and what I do is I pump it up so that it's open <clears throat> so the core gets flushed so what you do is you turn your water on and it starts filling the system up and then it exits out this hose here and goes far far away so it doesn't stain your driveway because this rust will stain a driveway like forever literally it's just it's real powerful stuff so <clears throat> what I learned to do because I watch the other end of the hose and watch its dirty output is take some pliers this is fairly this is only a couple years old so you take and squeeze this with pliers and it doesn't let any water flow this way it only flows that way and you do that for like 60 seconds on and 60 seconds off <clears throat> and it purges the daylights out of the heater core and then out it goes and this really saves my bacon so um, this thing needs to be flushed horribly I don't I, you know we're, we're 84 miles round trip from the nearest auto parts store so I had three bottles of uh, recycled I I call it waste antifreeze it's still useful but it was in something else for a while and I put that in here and um, now instead of being good for 208 degree boiling point now it's good for according to my hygrometer it's good for 255 <clears throat> it could be as good as 285 if I had 50-50 of fresh antifreeze well 255 beats the hell out of 208 every day of the week and I've learned in this system you really need to stay on top of the antifreeze and water ratio get yourself <clears throat> Get yourself one of these, they make them, <laughs> I confused my other one for batteries with this one, but it rises up, the needle rises up and tell, tells you where you're at. And I was at 255 down here, but water registered, Jesus Mike, okay, 255 is right here, and water is down there. So I gained, you know, 45 degrees worth of range, and that helps a lot, because with only water, um, once it starts boiling, it can't stop. Um, and that cap right there will will gush fluid, and if it gushes hot fluid long enough, the cap will literally pop off in your face. I know. <laughs> this happened to me what, the first day we brought this thing home. So it, 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 any antifreeze is better than no antifreeze, is the lesson for me. So anyway, you, you test it, make sure it's you know good, and yes, I'll get some. The thing is, I'm probably going to have to pull the motor apart, so why would I waste good antifreeze? Yes, you can drain it and blah, 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 which I will. Um, I'll recycle it again. But anyway, so the point being, water in, dirty water out, <clears throat> run the garden hose, and it really cleaned the living hell out of the system on the inside. Um, this took a long time to figure out. I, I don't know if I'm missing something, but this doesn't have a lot of uh, I don't know I don't know if it's an old system or if they were just trying to be fancy with their design I'm gonna vote old because this is 1988 but I can tell you cooling systems were well evolved into the 70s so I don't know what they were trying to do but it actually does work um, maybe somebody can answer me this what is this for what is that for well, I don't know the answer, but I can tell you what my suspicion is. Um, Renault had, or Renault, had something to do with AMC back in the day. And they had on their, mounted actually on their radiator hoses, they had mounted 
a bleed valve on the highest hose in the car on the Renaults. So you'd fill the cooling system again, you crack this thing open, bleed all the air off. There's no screw in that thing. So I don't know, maybe you drill it out, I don't know what you do. Um, I thought this bottle was like some jerry-rigged aftermarket thing. It's all factory. That rubber strap with the slot in it, that's all factory. It does look like crap, but it's 100% factory. And one of the most amazing things, because I bought a new one, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but you see the hose under here? That's stretching over a one-inch nipple using 5 8 radiator hose, or uh, heater hose. I couldn't freaking believe it. The lady was going to sell me $5 a foot inch hose, and I said, oh, I better go look. And now that I look at it, they must have used a heat gun to heat it up to stretch it over that thing. Because that's 5 8 going up to one inch. Seriously. So anyway, <clears throat> this whole thing's pressurized, including the cap and the overflow bottle, over the flow tank. Um, so you got to be careful in learning about this system. It's I'm starting to like it, but it's a pain in the butt. Now somebody's been in here and it's got all new clamps and hoses are a couple years old, so they're not brittle or anything. And I'm happy as hell about that. Anyway, that was my big adventure yesterday. Um, it exhausted me figuring all this out. I'm a little under the weather, but uh, it works. It works like a charm. I had lots of old hose because we were experimenting with the sandblaster. We have to sandblast under the house since the lightning strike. And um, we need to be able to pressurize it to 90 PSI, which is not what garden hose are made for. But I found an old one. It's really old and that sucker holds up fine. So I ended up with lots of extra hoses and I was smart enough to keep the ends on a couple of them when I cut the other end off for sandblasting and that that works great. So you need two 5 8 T's. The problem is the kits only come with one. So you need to get two of them. So ask your buddies, ask around, look in your toolbox. Um, I, I have a ton of three quarters while well, I had one extra. So we had to buy another kit and the kit was just under five bucks. So it's not horrible because you don't want this to rust. You do not want this to rust. It's hard to work on. Um, anyway, this is what I've uncovered. It works like a charm. Uh, hopefully it helps somebody. It certainly helped me. See you. Bye.